We are continuing to check out your state fair memories of yesteryears. Pam Batten from Stillwater went all the way back to 2019. <laughs> she and her husband can usually be found at the bee booth. Yeah, Pam's husband sharing his knowledge of beekeeping there. Very cool. I've seen Mr. Batten over there before. Uh, you notice those bees enclosed there? That's social distancing before it was a thing. Very true. Thanks, Pam. Also, this from Cheryl Scott, 2014. First thing she and her husband get, foot-long hot dog. That hot dog is good. I got to tell you, that is a good hot dog. The about a foot long hot dog. They had to change it to about a foot long because somebody uh, like filed a lawsuit, I think, <laughs> because some of the hot dogs maybe weren't a full foot. Uh, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. I'm telling you. Uh, favorite fair memories, WCCO.com slash state fair. State fair, not an option this year, of course. We're reliving the fun through your memories. Oh, Gary from Maple Grove sharing this picture from 2004. He says this epitomizes the state fair experience. That's his kid Hayden, who is 10 at the time on his way back from the cotton candy stand. Uh, Hayden is what, 26 now? Ah, that's a great picture, great colors in it. Thank you. Rachel from St. Paul shared this picture with one of her favorites, one of the newer foods, Nordic waffles. There she is with the waffle queen herself, Stina. Oh, I love those waffles. You can still get them over at Potluck in a Rosedale Center in Roseville. So go see Stina over there during the fair. One of your favorite fair memories? Let's hear it. WCCO.com slash state fair.